Oh, hey. Fancy seeing you guys here. I literally don't know how to start a vlog, so after two years, is it two years of doing it? I don't know, but welcome. It feels quite nice not holding the camera. So, back to my Chanel. I've had a bit of a mare of a week. Bear broke my phone by treading on it. <laughs> Love that. Go for a walk in our local forest because you know, global pandemic and all. And that is my main, my main event of the week is going for a walk in our local forest. So drive over there, park my car up. Someone keyed my car. Ah, so angry. If you're watching this right now, did you key a Gracie at? You're naughty. And then the third bad thing to happen was that Dee lost both her shoes. I guess maybe it's four things. Dee lost both her front shoes in different fields, which is just fantastic because it means, you know, you've got hours more fun to look for them both. Anyway, as much looking as a human can do, we couldn't find either of them. And then lo and behold, the next day, Brinny went out in one of the fields and she managed to find it in a way of treading on it and getting the nails right through the soles of her feet. Welcome back to my channel. Anyway, Brinny, touch wood, is absolutely fine. My amazing farrier, Ryan Derbyshire, came out and we got her all sorted, so we're just poulticing and she's actually quite happy on it. New phone arrived today car is still very much keyed. So do you know what? We're sorting some of the things out. Other things are gonna play on my mind for years to come. So basically the yard has been, it's not been my main priority these last few days. It's just been getting a bit grubby. We had Ryan back out to reshoe loads of ponies yesterday. So it is covered in horse hoof and just hay and everything. Like it is messy and I've not been organizing it at all. And I woke up this morning and just thought, there goes the camera. I just thought, no, like I need to sort this out. I need to get things together. So you guys are about to have an exclusive. You're about to see my yard looking like repulsive, okay? I avoid letting you see the yard look like this at all costs, like at all costs. If the yard looks like this and I'm vlogging, you ain't going inside, all right? It's a little, little secret from the biz there for you guys. But today you're gonna see, so Stay tuned. Oh, I'm actually a bit nervous to show you. Um, I better tell you what the video actually is first. So I'm going to give the yard a little tidy up. It's not gonna be a full on spring clean. I am planning on doing that with like the pressure washer and everything and taking all the rugs down, but it's not quite warm enough to do that. Like the ponies need to be out of it, obviously. Number one tip from Meg, don't pressure wash your barn with the horses inside. Um, so yeah, it's not gonna be a deep clean today, but we are gonna give it a little spruce and, I've been meaning to do this video for a while because you guys, ooh, there's the light. You guys always ask me about my board and I have actually entered my first event of the season. Dee and Jam are going to Ascot under Witchwood in mid-April. So it's time for my board to get back up and running. Can I just say, all I talk about is my farrier at the minute. The message there, I did not write that, okay? That's not number one priority at this moment in time. Number one priority is to keep the horses fit, get them ready to compete, then we'll work on them. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna tidy up the yard. Whoop, you nearly saw it then. And then I'm going to completely redo my board, show you guys how I do that, and basically show you how I plan their like competition fitness schedules. So this board will like run my life for the rest of this year now because I'll have everything they're doing on there. Are you ready to see this yard? I'm so embarrassed, don't judge me, okay? Promise? Promise. Okay. Okay, for dramatic effect, let's start outside the barn. So we've got my disgusting mat down here that needs to be shimmied back up there. We've got some buckets that need washing. We've got this hose artistically placed, similar to some of the pieces you'll see done by Banksy. Um, very, very, very nice, we like that. And then into, <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't even know what to call it. So here we go. The little hay store there looking very mess messy. Buckets everywhere. Rugs, again, just placed down there. Trying to make a statement. We've got half a bag of shavings because, you know, who wants to use a whole bag? Some salt. We've got my board I was just telling you about. Like, look, all of this. We're going to clean all of that off, guys. 
I love Han. I do love Han. Um, and then, yeah, here we go. So let's just bring you down here. Look at the dirt. This was, believe it or not, this was swept yesterday. But like I said, we had the farrier here. Stables that still need to be finished mucking out. A tissue that does look clean, but would you trust it in a global pandemic? Probably not. Poulticing stuff down there, again, just thrown on the floor because where else would you put it? And, you know, we've got some hooks. Why hang them over nicely? You know, when you could just throw a coat over the top. Some numbers there that I know for a fact need washing. Over here, we have got some feed bins, which were very, very kindly sent out by KM Elite. Um, so I'm going to take those up to the feed room and empty some feed in because my feed bins currently like the lids don't shut properly and that's not a good way to store your feed is it guys here we have a lovely box of rubbish I'm going to auction that off guys so stay tuned on Instagram make sure you're following me by the way we've got a little grey bottom hi no okay and yeah this is like my little my table again you can see beautifully organized we've got poultice here that's been left stewing for a day or two <laughs> i would like to say that that is not going anywhere near a horse that's going in the bin um and then you know obviously the vet wrap just delicately placed on top there got the zaflora probably the only thing that will be able to kill all the bacteria in this barn and yeah the final touch is of course a kitchen knife just placed just out of reach of a horse so living on the edge here and then of course my boots beautifully organized down there Ari basically it's not looking good is it my little pickle so you guys can probably see the problemo Ari come here so I don't really know where to get started I think I'm going to organize the little various stations oh I love that yes thank you that's lovely my hair was looking really quite rubbish until you did that you Ari a little star um yeah organize all those bits so that everything drops on the floor and then we'll finish with a grand sweep oh look over here as well my um my trunks which are like my pride and joy normally we're <laughs> just playing a game of how high can you pile it on okay i can't put this off any longer let's get started okay so first things first my trunk i'm just gonna move this a bin out of the way. So this is where I keep all of my clean numbers, <laughs> you know, just stacked on top of a muddy rug. No, that's not how it's meant to be. So I'm gonna get rid of all of these rugs. Like I said, it is now spring in the UK. So I'm not actually gonna be using these rugs. Oh my goodness, this is horrendous. Right, okay. My lovely Gallop of Glory number. We're gonna make a little wash pile there because all of these white numbers need to be washed and put in the lorry. You don't, you're clean. Oh my gosh, I've got my clippers very up for him. So my equilibrium massage pads, they do normally live on top of the trunk, but they are supposed to be the only thing that lives on top of the trunk. My clippers, they should be in the tack room, so that's where they're going to go in just a moment. Oh my word, the junk just keeps coming. A gilet, nice high bits for hacking out. A coat. Another coat. There's gonna be so many spiders here. My swinger attachment for the swingers from Silvermore. Another massage pad. A tray for when, you know, the butler comes to bring the tea out. More clippers, you can look up there because you're rubbish clippers. A uh, Whitaker bag. Ooh. And last but not least, a hairdryer. Love that. That's when Dora colicked in January. It's now the very, very end of March. It's fine. <laughs> I'm so organized. Let's give this a little spruce. Much better. Ooh. And there we have the inside of my trunk. <laughs> Sounds very weird, doesn't it? Okay, so like I said, this is where I keep all of my numbers. Some of my white numbers do just stay in the lorry, like my competition ones, but because we've not been out competing, they've kind of made their way into the trunk. So they can stay in here for a little bit longer. I like to keep all of my white ones at the end.
massage pads in. And there we have the trunk all organized. Right, one job done, about a million more to go. Have you got to help clean? <laughs> Okay, so next thing to do is to hang up some of these rugs that have been dotted around the yard. So these are all Shire's rugs. This one here is 300 grand and that's a 200 grand one. So hopefully we're not going to be needing these bad boys for a little bit longer. So we store the majority of our rugs up on these rug racks. Like my competition rugs are kept in my other trunk, but mostly they're hung up here. These are amazing, but we need more space for them. They're kind of crammed in here, so you can see they're quite difficult to get to, but they are really good. They keep them out of the way, and rugs are just the bane of my life. Like, we have a bit of a problem collecting them, and we never seem to get rid of them. So, yeah, these are good for keeping them out of the way. So, you have to do them up, grab your little stool, unless you're super tall, and then just hang them up. Presto, the rugs are hung. Okay, so like I said, rugs we're not sort of using every day go up there, but rugs that we are using pretty much every day will stay out on the yard, as you can see here. So, I mean, there's not much you can do about that. It's so much effort to kind of hang them up every day. So because the girls are wearing like these blue ones overnight, Dora's wearing that blue one to go out overnight. Like they do just stay out and we try and hang them either on the doors if they're not in the stable or like over these little racks here. Don't worry, but it's starting to look tidier. I mean, look at this corner now, guys. Look at all that room for activities. You can have a party over there if you're allowed to in the pandemic, which we're not, are we, Ace? Okay, next on the agenda has to be this because Ari keeps knocking things off. So this is meant to be just like a nice little table where you have well, a table where you can put things, but you know, at the moment we've only got this very small bit of prime real estate where you could actually put anything. Okay, I feel like I shouldn't have this much trust that you're not going to bite me. Look at that. Look what you just did, I'm gonna have to sort that now. Anyway, we're gonna go through this, we're gonna bin all of this rubbish and also like keep the vet rack organized because I need that to hand because I'm going to be poulticing Brinny every day for at least the next week. Let's get started. Once I've sorted my hair out. Thank you, Ari. Right, let's delve into this table. This is going to be our rubbish bag. <laughs> we have a cake box, more rubbish. We've got this hoof care box, which, okay, that does actually have useful stuff in. That can go into my first aid drawer. We've got my little pouch for hacking out with. That can stay there because I use that. We've got a box of tissues, because you know, pandemic and all. Looks like a clean tissue. Would you like it? Would you like it? <laughs> no? Uh, yeah, it's gonna go back in the box, you know. Times are hard, guys, times are hard. We've got a sponge. We've got a very old water bottle. Normally I'd reuse that, but that's gonna go in the bin. We've got a mask. <laughs> nice and clean. <laughs> We've got my little notepad, that can go in. We've got a pen, does this work? Yep, don't know why that's there. More rubbish, more rubbish. A nappy for you, because you're such a baby. No, that's actually for pulsing feet. They're blimmin' good nappies for pulsing. We've got some animal insects. We've got a woolly hat. Do you want that? Okay. We've got a way tape to see how fat you are. These things can all stay. My little, right. Let's go on a rampage. You're being bin, you're being bin, you're being bin, you're being bin. That's doing there. That's on the floor. That goes under here. Bin, bin, bin. Keep, keep, bin. Keep, Epsom 
salt, heat, and then heat, heat. Would you like a treat? Thank you for your help. Oh. Hang on guys, a brief pause. I found some old biscuits and those of you that have followed me for a while on Instagram will know that Lara was a biscuit taster and Ari is Lara's son. So moment of truth, do you like biscuits? Oh, we've gone off camera to decide if he likes that. Let's have a quick look. Yay, I like biscuits, mummy. Mm, not as much as your mum did. <laughs> Bless you. He says, ooh, they were Lara's favourite, the malted milk, Gary. Okay, I think I've binned everything that needs to be binned. So we're going to get all this other stuff off here, give it a good sweep, and then put it back on, but in a more mm, organised fashion. Would you agree, sir? Yes. Okay. When I think about the way we used to be, when I think about the things it took from table reorganized I've got my kind of things that I use quite often like these gels are all really good we've got like tendon gels and butte gels and stuff like that so they're they're just quite helpful to have around Ari enough got my Zaflora I mean Zaflora is incredible but even more so during a global pandemic and also you know with the equine herpes virus going around really good to have this here to disinfect and it's animal friendly i mean do read the instructions but yeah absolutely incredible stuff got other various creams got my hoof oil that's now got a rosette in it that's helpful um my iodine and stuff for poulticing brinny's foot and this is like a little anti-back hand wash that we use you know if anyone's coming to the yard hands coming in i just you know absolutely rinse her with that um, and then just various other bits like the little knife scissors stuff like that some treats and these are epsom salts so we were using those for the poultice to soak it in so that's why they're there but they would normally be up in the feed room the other stuff that came off is now positioned on the floor old meg would have left it there but new meg is going to either bin it or pop it away in my drawers over there so yeah quite good progress guys we're nearly ready to sweep okay we've done a nice bit of organizing you know as much as one can take in a day so rugs are hung up my little table is organized and my trunks are also done i realized i did this one without filming but i just put a few rugs whoopsie in like their bags so these are all my lovely shires rugs and that's my dry rug which i was very kindly sent those are incredible. I used it so much this winter when the ponies were a bit furry, but they like they were getting really hot schooling. Wash them off, put that on them. They dry so, so quickly. Oops, shut that up. So yeah, trunks organized. I need to find somewhere for all of my lovely silver moss swingers, but I've just left those there for the minute. But there is still all of this absolute toots on the floor so what i'm going to do is set up a time lapse on my gopro which i feel like i haven't used in ages and we're going to have a sweep-a-thon maybe we've got a few juicy sweeping shots on the camera too so look at it now and get ready to be amazed i won't make it easy for you now Okay, floor is all cleared. I am finally ready to get sweeping. So my broom of choice is from the amazing KM Elite. 
They stock the most incredible range of just everything, guys, so definitely worth checking them out. They've got loads of stockists around the country, so head over to the website and you can find out where your local stockist is to get all of your... I mean, they literally do loads and loads of things. Like I said, they set the feed bins, the ultimate shaving forks. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. This fork has, no joke, changed my life. Like, it's so light. I've always had metal, metal heads with like a wooden handle and oh my goodness, they're so heavy. And then Caroline kindly sent this out for me and it is just incredible, really, really strong. Fun fact, you can run this head over with a car and it won't break. Woo! Uh, but yeah, a nice like scooped, bowly head. Um, amazing, like cannot recommend these enough and I believe Care Elite is the only place you can get them because they are their own brand. So 100% recommend these. But today I am using their corn broom. Look at that, you can tell I've used it a bit with the, uh, the angle that we've got on it. But these are just the best for sweeping like inside spaces. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a little one, two, one, two. And then we can do my board. And we're so excited. Oh, that reminds me, I need to hate these horses before I sweep. Top tip. Okay, the before. Ooh, 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 ooh. And, and after. Here we have it, guys. Look how much better that is. Okay, I should have moved that rug. Oh well. <laughs> but much more neat and organized. I mean, that still looks messy, but it's organized mess. The trunk looking a whole lot better. No rugs like all over those, no numbness. I've got a massive, massive wash pile that I need to go and sort out. But here we have it, looking a lot, lot better. So I'm going to run in, have some lunch, charge the camera, and then we are going to sort out my board. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for. Sorry for the wait, guys. <laughs> Not that you've had to wait. Uh, yeah, so a few hours later, I've ridden, put the ponies to bed, so the girls are just in here chilling, living their best lives. And it is time to attack my board and refilm. So, I mean, look at these names on here. Last time I was using the board was when we were doing some stuff with Ari, we've got Dora, then obviously D, Jam and Bear. It's about to call it, call them Dam. Damn, that would be their couple name. Um, and then I have like my worming at the top, my, my to-do list, ignore. Um, and then my upcoming events so I can put Ascot under Witchwood on there. Um, I've got my permanent markers up here. So all of the like grids I do in permanent markers so you can rub them and also like the days of the week and week beginning and stuff. And then I use my like whiteboard pens to just write you know, all the things on here. So I'll say what they're doing on each day. Um, what else is there to say? I do two, like two weeks, as you can see here. So I like to keep a week in the rears. That doesn't make sense. Basically keep, keep the last week I had so I can see what they did. So for things like galloping, it's quite useful to know what they did last week. 
Um, and just for general planning, like it's just good, isn't it, to know what they've done the week before. So that's why I have two weeks. Um, and then when it gets to the end of this week, you can like rub it off and start planning your next week before it starts. So first things first is to get nail varnish remover, spray it all over there, get rid of everything. We're gonna completely start from scratch. I've got my ruler down there. Oh, geographer's getting all excited using a ruler. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Firstly, let's get rid of some of these spider webs. Gross. Go away. Okay, right, let's do this. <laughs> I've had to stick a Dettol head in here. So let's see. Oh god, this is so hard to do one hand. I'm about to drop it. Do not drop this leg. Right, come on. Get rid of that. Thank you, Ryan and Tom. Yeah. They're just so great, aren't they? So funny. The funniest barriers around. Right. That should do. Oh, look at that. Whoa. That little wipey woo. Let's see how well this comes off. Oh yeah. Oh no, not that bit. <laughs> this might take me a while. Oh no, look at the permanent marker. <laughs> okay. We're gonna. It's gonna take a little bit longer. Might need a second coat of nail varnish remover. Yeah, good enough in it. I'll do. Right. I hope you enjoyed, guys. Okay, progress. I had to clean it and then respray some stuff, and we're actually kind of getting somewhere now. It just doesn't want to. To be fair, I don't mind being able to see the line still because I don't have to measure all this out again. <laughs> so it's not the end of the world if a few lines are there. We'll just go over them. Right, I'm gonna do some more scrubbing. And then hopefully we've got to dry it off. I can do guys but by the time I've drawn over that it's gonna look beautiful she's still a tiny bit tiny bit damp but I'll give it another another little rub with the clothy thing nice and dry and then we're gonna get drawing this is gonna be a sweet sweet time lapse You ready to see all the permanent marker bits done? That was so therapeutic. Had my tunes on. This is the bonus of having two phones. I mean, not that I'm gonna keep both, but so yeah, I think I explained in life. Bear broke my phone, but she only broke the camera. Like it's immaculate. It didn't even crack. Like the camera just stopped working. Annoying, cause you know, my line of work kind of need a camera on the phone. So now I've got my old phone playing music, got my new phone time lapsing. I'm just like, oof, do you know what? I get used to this. Anyway, all the permanent marker is done. So, ba -ba! Right, let's address a few elephants in the room. Firstly, how crooked is that? I did that and stepped back and was just like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was like that, I was rather annoyed. Got my worming, to-do list, events, all up there, and then, yeah, like look how gorgeous. So basically, I can write my horses in, I can write all the things they're doing, and then at the end of the week, whoosh, 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 all gone, end of two weeks. Um, yeah, then we've got the second week, and then down here we have the little key, geography. Don't ever do anything without a key, guys. I mean, not anything. Obviously, there's quite a lot of stuff you can do without a key, but if you're doing something that needs a key, 
put that key on, else you ain't gonna get good marks. I'll explain more about that later. Um, you know, we'll go in depth into what keys are. For now, it's just a case of filling this bad boy in. Oh, need to put a colon on there, don't I? <laughs> that would be embarrassing if I missed out a colon. <laughs> Goodness forbid. Right, I'm gonna put my tunes back on and fill it in. And looks so much better. Okay, you ready? Three, a two, a one. Ta da! Look at them lines. Hello, baby. So, right, you'll see in the time lapse, I was so haphazard filling this in. So I've decided to put all of the ponies on here, apart from Ace, because you know he's 31. He's doing a little bit less nowadays. Um, but obviously, you know, like a Ari, Millie, Brinny, Winnie, aren't really doing much. Bear's not going to be doing much once she's been put in full, same as Millie. Um, but it is just useful. So like Brinny here, I've put, you know, when she trod on the shoe, then when she had her jab the next day, because we had to get her tetanus booster done. So it's just quite useful to have them on here. And also, you know, Ari, Winnie, Brinny should start to do things soon. So I thought I may as well have them on there because I'm not really taking any liveries anymore. Would have had Sally on there, but Sally went home yesterday. Um, so let's just talk you through a little bit of the board. So D and Jam, or like any competition ones I have, have one day off during the competition season. Um, some weeks they'll have easier weeks. I mean, don't get me wrong, if they've like competed, then they might have, you know, a few more days off. Oh, I didn't write the date here, hang on. Had to put 29th of March there. Um, yeah, don't get me wrong. Like if they've had a busy week and they've competed and whatnot, they'll, you know, they'll have a couple of extra days off. But normally week to week, they'll have one day off. And then obviously like I'll mix in hacking, jumping, poles, flat work, galloping, just try and keep as much variety as possible. And that's why I do love having the board because literally you can see here, this was what, like three days ago. I, I can't remember what I did with them. I have no idea. That's how bad my memory is. So this is why I need the board so I can keep on top of things. So it's basically just trying to vary as much as we can at the moment. Like, you know, this week I've been bad with Dee. She's hacked like two days in a row. Normally I try and like, you know, like if they've hacked, they'll go in the school the next day or something. Um, but at the minute I'm not, I'm not in like full competition swing. So I feel like I'm being a little bit more relaxed, but I'm hoping that next week that's going to change. So I'm starting off with flat work. I'm gonna take Dean Jam galloping because by that point we're allowed to leave. Um, and then they'll hack the next day. I always like to ride them the day after galloping um, just to see how they feel really, to see how tired they feel and to make sure they're hundred percent sound. Um, so that's why they're hacking and then having their day off, sent some poles, then hacking. And then I've left Sunday open at the minute just because that's quite far away and I wanna see how they're feeling and I'll sort of decide what to do with them on that day. Um, and then you'll see Teddy Bear, like Bear will probably have that Sunday off. She's kind of having two days off a week because you know, she's starting to wind down, ready to have a baby or try and have a baby. Oh, spoiler pick the stallion, or at least I think I have. I'm gonna go and visit him. Obviously I'll bring you guys along. Um, and then up here, I've got my events. So we've got Ask on the Witch on the 17th of March, Solihull on the 24th, and then hopefully Broadway on the 8th. I need to enter Solihull, that's just reminded me. That should be on my to-do list. I've not written anything on there yet. And then worming, I just put when they were last worm. So this lot were done mid-Jan. Dee and Dora were done in early Feb. That was around the time, well, Dora colic in Jan, so we didn't want to worm her straight away because obviously that can, uh, you know, trigger colic. So that's why Dee and Dora were done a bit later. Dee was done later because she had had, she was having steroid treatment. She's having an annual steroid treatment and good to worm them on steroids because it can reduce the effects of it, you know, causing too much upset. I believe, guys, I'm not a vet, you all know that. Oh, the key, I didn't write the key in. <laughs> Bear with. Okay, so last but not least, normally there's four parts to this key. We have farrier, vets, back treatment, and dentist. 
Um, because <laughs> I have four different coloured pens, but they've all stopped working, so I'm going to go in and order some pens off Amazon. Um, but the green's working, and that's the most important one. So we've got Farrier down there. Farrier is green, so then you can look at your board and you can see where all the stars are. It's when the Farrier last came, and I've also put a little note up there, shod on the 22nd of March, even though Bear and Jam were two days later, but oh well. Anyway, that is my beautiful board. I hope you guys have been inspired to make your own board. Honestly, like for me, who, uh, you know, has quite a, quite a busy life, um, and also the worst memory in the world, it's, it is a lifesaver. Like I couldn't cope without it during the competition season, especially like this year, I've not actually got that many to ride. Like once Bear's off, I'll have to get Ari up and running Dora, I guess. Yeah, I'll probably have like three or four in work, but that's not as bad as, you know, last year. I had eight spaces because at one point I was riding eight a day. Don't know how I did it. Um, definitely could not do that now. But yeah, it is just really, really helpful for me. So if you were inspired to maybe dig out an old whiteboard, clean it up and set out some nice little grids or even if you've ordered one, that would be really cool if you guys went and ordered one after this. Um, yeah, do let me know, tag me on Instagram. In fact, what I might do is put a challenge on challenge social to show me your whiteboards. Cause I've had fun doing mine and I want to see your whiteboards. There's other, you know, there's loads of stuff you could put on there. So let me know what you guys think I've missed out and what you would add to your whiteboard. Anyway, that is the day over and done. The barn is actually still looking fairly clean. Considering it was hours ago I swept this, like hours and hours. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It really does help me out. Oh, did you hear that little fart? It wasn't me. Um, yeah, I am really, really desperate to try and get to 100,000 subs this year. Like in the next few months, by summer. Imagine if we, or not by summer, like in summer. It would be amazing if we did that. So please do like, comment, subscribe. Look out for Teddy Bear's husband vlog, hopefully be coming in the next few weeks. Obviously we've got to wait for restrictions to lift and whatnot. Hope you enjoyed, live, laugh, Bye. Oh, for goodness sake, who put that there? Oh, dear. I'll just, I'll leave it.